Just like everyone predicted, here we sit at the end of the Sunday of week four, and the Saints are 0-4, and the Cardinals are 4-0. We're going to talk about those two games here with senior editor Eric Edholm. Let's start with Packers Saints, which could be dubbed the uh, anti-Goodell Bowl, because two teams very <laughs> yeah. frustrated with the league office for different reasons. Packers won the game very close. They win 28-27, had some help on Garrett Hartley, missing a field goal, penalties, hurt the Saints late in that game, but boy, are the Packers lucky to escape. Two and two, not one and three. Absolutely. I mean, it was a big day for Drew Brees in the passing game of the Saints. They came up and, and they're playing with passion. You know, you can't really blame them. They're, they haven't folded in by any means. And, and yet the Packers, I mean, they got really lucky. They had a lot of things to go against them. A fumble call, a horrible call by Jeff Triplett's crew. Who needs a replacement? These guys were just as bad today, at least on that one call they were. Uh, and then Graham Harrell had to come in for one player, and Rodgers gets poked in the eye. Harrell fumbles right in that doorstep of the goal line there. So you could see. Man, he just wasn't their day, but Aaron Rodgers made enough plays. Saints defense just couldn't close him out. Like you said, the field goal miss. Packers win the game. Still questions about them, though. No question about it. Yeah, the Saints next week play the San Diego Chargers before a bye. I mean, there's a very good chance this Saints team <laughs> could be 0-5. And yeah. when you look at you said Drew Brees picked it up today, but with all of the problems going on, the whole buying scale, not having champagne there, they look much better today in Lambeau. I mean, was this a good step forward for them? Yeah, a number of good defensive plays. I still don't know why they don't run the ball a little bit more with all those talented backs. There are certain things that they're just still not effective doing, but maybe that offensive line's not the same. The defense, you could at least be encouraged by their effort, made a number of big plays today. Still wasn't enough, though, up in Lambeau. Bo, if that game is in New Orleans, maybe they win it, though. Yeah, well, now heading over to Arizona into the desert, the Cardinals just looked out of sorts. Kevin Cobb got completely pressured all game long. They couldn't run the football through a couple picks, yet the Dolphins let them hang around just long enough for the Cardinals to tie the game and win it in overtime in Arizona Cardinals or 4-0 from watching this game, what was your reaction to it? Well, the way you know Ryan Tannehill was throwing it to Brian Hartline and what a connection those two made in this game, the way Cameron Wake was burning up the edge in the first half, Reggie Bush trying to fight through injury, it just looked like the Dolphins' afternoon. Coming off that tough overtime loss to the Jets, you just felt like maybe the Cardinals were just caught, you know, caught napping a little bit here. But they rallied, they made some plays on, on defense, some tough interceptions there, a couple of important uh, game-changing plays there, and it was just enough. Kevin Cobb had really two impressive drives, not a great afternoon other than that, but that's what you gotta do. You gotta be gritty and you gotta win some ugly games. They do it in overtime, Jay, Jay Feely's field goal. You know, I said the NFL's a game of inches. The Dolphins last week let one slip away against the Jets, do it again this week against the Cardinals. The Miami Dolphins of all teams could have been three and one, but hey, as Roger Goodell would say, it's the beauty of the NFL. <laughs> For more of our analysis of week four of the NFL season, be sure to check out our website at profootballweekly.com.